Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java exception propagation. Here you can see the call stack. From main method, method 1 is called. From method 1, method 2 is called. From method 2, method 3 is called. Method 3 is top of the call stack. Main method is bottom of the call stack. Here you can see from main method, method 1 is called. From method 1, method 2 is called. From method 2, method 3 is called. In method 3, null pointer exception will occur. And null pointer exception is not handled in method 3. So exception will propagate to method 2. In method 2 also, exception is not handled. So exception will propagate to method 1. And in method 1 also, exception is not handled. So exception will propagate to main method. And in main method, exception is handled. Exception can be handled in any method in call stack. Exception can be handled in method 3 or method 2 or method 1 or main method. An exception is first thrown from the top of the call stack. And if it is not caught, it drops down the call stack to the previous method. If it is not caught there, the exception again drops down to the previous method and so on. Until they are caught or until they reach the very bottom of the call stack. And this is called exception propagation. Here I have defined the class exception propagation demo. It has main method. I am running this program in debug mode. In method 3, null pointer exception has occurred and null pointer exception is not handled in method 3. So, exception will be propagated to method 2 and in method 2 also exception is not handled. So, exception will be propagated to method 1. In method 1 also exception is not handled. So, exception will be propagated to main method where uh, exception is handled. And uh, this is about uh, Java exception propagation. And uh, thanks for watching.